Judy in Porter Beach, Leo Laporte, the tech guy. Hi, Judy. Hello there. It's not Porter Beach. It's Porter Ranch. Oh, <laughs> Porter Beach. You wish it were the beach. <laughs> yes. No. Porter Ranch is beautiful. I know. I don't know why I said beach. Hello, Judy. Hi there. Okay, I will tell you what is going on. I'm a 73-year-old Jewish grandma, and I'm actually watching you on my iMac as we speak. Hi, Judy! <laughs> I'm waving at you as we speak. <laughs> I'm waving back. <laughs> Good. <laughs> okay, I have had my 15-inch MacBook Pro with Retina display since October. Okay. For the past six weeks, I've been talking to Apple support to a supervisor. Oh, boy. We've done, we've done screen shares videos, diagnostics, and they have sent it to engineers to know. And you expect me to help you? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I can do something. What? So what's, ha it's, give me the symptom. Okay, the symptom is in my photo library, I can't edit. When I click on a picture to edit, it goes black. Now they set up a test library under another user. Yeah. And it works that way ah. and they think it's a software problem and they said if i get a brand new one and migrate everything from my you know my little gizmo thing that the new one would do the same thing have you ever heard of such no okay well it's no like so you're using apple's photos program i'm sure you yeah. are yeah and uh, you go to edit and you get black. That, to me, almost certainly, because everybody, I mean, I'm using that program. Others are using that program. It doesn't happen universally. It happens to Judy. Yes. Yeah. So that, to me, says it's not the software. It's not the Macintosh. It's not the operating system. It's the photo. No, but it, but it doesn't matter. If the photos have come from my iPhone, from my iPad, it doesn't matter where the photos come from. It happens to all of them. Okay, it's not the photo. <laughs> it's the cash. I got a new plan. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you just eliminated that theory. Uh, so the new plan is uh, is to export all your photos from your library, delete the oh. library into new into you know put it anywhere in a folder or whatever. Delete the library and re-import. Have you ever done that? Hang no. on, because we got to take a break for news. But I will talk to you off the air. Leo Laporte, the tech guy. Now, I walked uh, during the news break. I talked to Judy some more. Judy's the grandma from uh, from uh, Porter Ranch, not Porter Beach. <laughs> she, and she is had problems because every time she tries to edit a photo in Apple's photos, it's black. She can't edit it. So I told her uh, after a long, after fumfering around for a while, I finally found the one trick that Apple, I guess, didn't tell you which is you can rebuild your photos library. It's not unusual when you have a giant you know, giant file with all your stuff in it. I don't like it when people do that. It's a bad idea with email when an Outlook does that in a giant PST file. It's a bad idea with a registry. Windows does that with its registry. It's a bad idea with photos. You notice iTunes doesn't do that. iTunes, every song is separate. It's its own little, it's like intact. But when you put everything in a big file, it's not unusual for that file to get damaged in some way and you get weird results. In this case... You want to repair your library. And it turns out, I, I had to look for it, but Apple has a simple command to do that. So we're going to first back up your library. We're going to copy, copy your photos library to make a copy of it somewhere on another drive or the same drive, just a different space. That way, you, if something goes wrong, you can copy it back. You know, sometimes repairing big, giant databases deletes everything by accident, and that's not good. We don't want to lose your photos. So make a copy. In fact, any time photos or any program starts doing weird things, good idea to back up the data. So you've copied your photos library out of your pictures folder. You've copied it, let's say, to your desktop. Now you hold down Command and Option, and you run for you open up Photos, and it will say, "Oh, you want me to repair your library?" You say, "Yes, please," and it's going to rebuild the indexes and the caches and all that stuff. That should fix it. I'm surprised Apple didn't tell you that right up front.